I'm not sure if you remember, there was this earlier video in which we were trying to do some train spotting close to Chandni Chowk, close to what's the old Delhi railway station and we had miserably failed. This video though is where we have succeeded. This is the New Delhi railway station or we are close to the New Delhi railway station and here we are having a bird's eye view of the trains. So I think there's something so intriguing about train travel, right? And about just being able to look at trains because it instantly kind of takes you back memory lane. It reminds you of long distances, of your past travels. It reminds you of potential travels you want to take in the future. And that's exactly the reason why I really wanted to get to a spot from where I could just look at the trains pass by and look at the people at the platforms and thankfully that's exactly what I'm looking at today and that's exactly what you are looking at today as well. Alright, let's go and try to catch an early morning train from the New Delhi railway station. And this station is actually quite old, of course not as old as Old Delhi, but it's almost a hundred years old. It was built by the British in 1926 and it was a major station and still continues to be a major station here in North India. But honestly, I don't even remember the last time I was here. <laughs> And I guess that's why I'm really looking forward to this. And of course, this is exactly what we would expect, right? It's got to be chaotic if it's a railway station. And this is less chaos because we are here early on a Sunday morning, usually you would not be able to stand where I'm standing right now and therefore you'll not really be able to have this experience. You'll just be overwhelmed maybe about missing your train or maybe overwhelmed by the huge chunk of people, the large number of people all around you in all directions. But yeah, in this video, this early morning, at least we can observe and experience. So it's around 8 a.m. right now and the urge to just catch a train like a long distance train to anywhere and just get away it's it's just very real right now <laughs> and I'm sure you also would have had that kind of like fascination, that dream, right? That go to the railway station and catch a train to an unknown place. <laughs> I think this morning is a bit like that for me. So a good train carries its own sense of wonder right because all of these containers that you're looking at these containers that are passing us by i'm sure they've traveled thousands of kilometers and they've traveled through probably international waters and now they're here crossing the new delhi railway station probably in a few hours they would be headed somewhere i guess to the south of india so it's it's so fascinating right whenever you notice such things you take a pause and look at what's happening around you and i think at a railway station it becomes all the more significant because 
So many things and so many people are traveling long distances. And it's really rare that you would find a railway station in this form, right? Usually it's very crowded. You see there are a lot of people who are running around and you're probably running around yourself as well. So yeah, to be able to pause and observe is such a luxury. That of course looks like a standard passenger train coach or maybe like a kitchen, I guess. For some reason that looked like a kitchen coach to me. <laughs> Though of course I'm not too familiar with railways, I can definitely know more. I think it's almost a dream for me because I'd never imagined I would actually be able to do this. I always thought I would only be at a railway station when I'm traveling and it'll be crazy and I'll be running around. But I think I'm really fortunate to be able to be here in peace and look at all of these morning activities at a railway station. Look at this goods train with its international containers passing us by. But yeah, I think this is what the video was about. Exploring life at a railway station early in the morning. <laughs>